this is Chris from Packet Pioneer, and I just wanted to take a minute to talk to you about the TCP window. Now, before I get deep into the weeds here, I'm going to uh, just talk to you about how the fact that there's two types of TCP windows. One's a receive window, and one is a send window. So in this video, we're going to talk about the receive window, and what this value means in the TCP header, and how we can use it to troubleshoot. We'll go into the send window in another video. Now, the TCP window. I just have a, a TCP connection here, just one in Wireshark. I'm going to select the first packet, and if I open up the TCP header values, uh, we can come down here to the window size value. Now this is a two byte field in the TCP header, and here we see that it's uh, FFFF, so that's 65, 535. Basically what this is, is it's a receive buffer in whoever is sending this. So 192, 168, 1.1, .1, this is the sender of this packet. He's telling the other side, that I have 65535 of receive window available. What that means is that the opposite side, if it is sending data back to this sender, whoever sent this, if it's sending data back in that direction, only 65535 bytes can be sent before this guy receives the acknowledgments. Meaning, don't send me any more than this. That's all I can handle uh, unacknowledged. Okay, now if we look at the other side, we notice that the, the server comes back and he says, okay, I got a window size value of 5840. So this is a much lower window size. Now, in thinking of receive buffers, uh, typically servers are the ones sending data to us as clients, right? We're, in many cases, we're not uploading data to them, especially when it comes to the web and pulling things off of a web page. So 5840, now this just means I don't expect to get a whole lot of data from you, Mr. Client. Uh, so I'm just going to keep that resource small. Now, if we go to the TCP, uh, the last packet of the three-way handshake, we come down, uh, we can see that the window size value is 64,240. So this time, the client has adjusted it slightly, but uh, we notice that this value now appears in Wireshark, calculated window size. Well, window size value is 64,240, that's the number it's telling us, but this calculated window size is a whole lot bigger, as we can see here. So what's going on? Well, if you took a look on the, the YouTube channel here for the TCP handshake, uh, you notice that we talked about the TCP options, and if we come up to the SYN, we can just look at that real quick for this connection. And this connection is actually using something called window scaling. So the sender of this packet, he's saying, okay, my window scale, when you see this number up here, actually take that number and multiply it by four. That's going to be my true actual window size. Now, the reason why it does that is because this is a hard number in terms of the amount of space that's allocated to it in the TCP header. So in order to make it um, more, make more throughput on like long uh, connections or, or connections with a lot of latency, maybe high bandwidth, high latency connections, I'm going to want the sender to put a whole lot more data on there during large data transfers. So the only way that I can increase my window size value without actually breaking the TCP header is to, to use this TCP option called window scaling. So now what the server understands is that any value that the client sends for the window size value, actually take that number and multiply it by four, and that'll actually be the calculated window size. So this is the true window size that the client is advertising, okay? so. That's also another reason why it's important to catch the handshakes uh, when we're analyzing a TCP because this is only sent once. It's only sent in the handshake and we will never see it again. Okay, so now if we go down further in the connection, if we take a look at the data in flight and then we take a look at the acknowledgments, uh, we come down to this acknowledgment, we can see that the client is advertising a 64240 uh, window, but the, the true calculated window size is down here below. Wireshark helps us out. Now, this is a good time to tell you this is not a number that's actually a part of the packet itself. A instead, this is a value that Wireshark is helping us out with uh, just so we can, um, we can uh, understand the true window size. Okay, so again, this means, this number means that whoever sent this, 1.1, has 256,960 bytes in its TCP receive window. So that is all the data that the sender can send before acknowledgments come back. Now, this number isn't going to be static. It could be that the receive buffer on the client uh, fills up a little bit. Maybe the application isn't 
processing data out of it as, as fast as data is coming in, or maybe it's busy doing some other process, but it's possible that this number can begin to drop. In fact, in this uh, trace file, I have an event here, and I'm actually going to scroll down. Uh, you can see these black lines over here on the on the right. Um, now these these look ugly, right? Do packs, previous segment not captured, retransmissions, and ugliness like that. But the thing I'd like to draw your eye to is actually down here. I just jumped over it there. Let me just change this out just a little bit there. Now notice this window full, zero windows. Ugh. Now basically what this means, if I go up a couple more packets, data was in flight from the server. But if we take a look at the packets coming from the client, these are these are empty packets that don't actually have any data in them. These are just acknowledgments coming back from the client. If I take a look at one of those, check out the window size value, okay? 2920. Multiply that by 4, we can see 11680. That's the true window size. So the server still has room, so it puts a couple more packets on the wire. And then we take a look at the next acknowledgement, 2190. So the window is dropping, 8760. In fact, this is a great, um, if you're doing troubleshooting on window sizes, this is a great column to add to your profile. In fact, I'm going to do that just because we're doing a, vi a video about window size. So we can see here, this is our window size. So the server sends a couple more packets. Our window size is 5840. A couple more packets. Window size is 2920. A couple more full packets. And that's why Wireshark is saying, hey, your buffer, your receive buffer in the client was 2920. We saw two more packets come in. And that is the actual mathematical maximum that the server could send. The TCP window is now full on the client. So now what happens? Well, the server stops. The server can't send anything else. Why? Because there's the receive buffer on the client side is full. And in fact, the client says that. If I take a look at packet 364, it comes back and says, hey, thanks for that packet, but uh, don't send any more because I'm down to zero. If I look at the window size, zero. Calculated window size, zero. Uh, this guy is full on the receive buffer side. So now an interesting thing occurs. The server can't send any more data. So what it's going to do is, in a little bit of time, basically um, what the server does is it waits a little bit of time and it says, hey, uh, are you still out there? Are we still talking? Uh, do you still have a zero window? Client comes back, says, yep, I'm still zero. I, I, you can't send any more data to me. So basically the server doubles the amount of time. So now we're just at almost 1.2 seconds. And he says, okay, he's still there. We still keeping this thing alive. Are you still full? Uh, the client says, yep, I'm still zero window. The application hasn't processed things out. I, my TCP receive window is full. Don't send anything else. So the server, we can see here, it doubles the amount of time again, just about. And it checks in again, still zero. Checks in again, still zero. And these are full seconds, people, right? So server checks in, full window, checks in. Now, again, a full window. Now, about 115 milliseconds later, something happens on the client. The receive window gets cleared out. So now it goes up to 3760, and then uh, it further updates uh, its window to the sender. So now the client is telling us, I've got room for more, so fire away. So now the server, it turns around and says, great, here's some more traffic, right? And then it's off to the races. Okay, so if we think about it, although I saw retransmissions up above in this trace file, uh, this really was the root cause of why things were slow for this client. Uh, I came in 3.6 seconds into the trace file. That's where I hit these window folds. And 36 seconds later, um, I saw things go that take off again. So really, I lost 33 seconds or so just with the client in a zero window condition. So hopefully this helps you understand a bit more about TCP windows and how they work. And thanks for stopping by. Feel free to comment and subscribe down below. And I will see you on another video.